The shooting death of a hunter from Little Falls is now being considered a homicide. The Morrison County Sheriff held a press conference today to release new details of the investigation and to urge the community to come forward with any information they may have. Our Logan Gay has more. We just want some answers to who done this horrible thing to our son. That was Terry Briss mother asking for someone who may have information on our son's death to come forward. Terry Briss was shot and killed last month while he was hunting on his family land near an intersection of Hawthorne and Jewel Road. Preliminary autopsy results from the Ramsey County Medical's Office, Examiner's Office, concluded that Terry Briss died from blood loss resulting from a gunshot wound. Initially, investigators could not say if the incident was an accident or a murder. Now, however, they have come forward and officially classified it as a homicide. With the evidence that we have and communicating with the Ramsey County Medical Examiner's Office, we have ruled out that this is an accidental shooting and that this is definitely a homicide and that's the way we're moving forward. And Terry Briss body was found behind these bolted gates leading to private property, missing an important piece of equipment. We're asking for the public's assistance in locating a Winchester Model AE 3030 lever action rifle belonging to Terry Brisk. The incident has been especially hard on the Briss family where he left behind a wife and four kids. It has been extremely difficult trying to put the pieces together and move on. Although the family has received a vast amount of support from the community, Briss' mother says she will not have peace until her son's murderer is found. You look at people and you wonder, are you the one that done that to my son? The family is offering a $20,000 reward for any information that leads to the identification of the killer. In Little Falls, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.